All right, I fear this was going to happen. I bought a HEPA filter for this, and I put it on, like what the instructions say, but this is the problem. It does not hold in place. So, before I would send this back, because one of the reasons why I bought this was I needed something that would have a HEPA filter in the, on the machine. I'm going to see if I can um, modify this to where it can um, stay in the, um, or make this filter seal up better in the back. But my concern though, is if I try to do that, it may be harder to worry take this filter out it'd be harder to use the blower so anyways that is so far a disappointment with this but I'm not going to give up entirely on this so definitely off camera here I'm gonna see if I can work with this see if I can try to keep this or not, or the entire machine. Um, and of course, also keep the, um, the HEPA filter. Well, at least I can give up the HEPA filter because we, the whole reason why I bought this machine in the first place is um, we needed a replacement vacuum for our trailer, which we currently own because the Eureka Optima that we're using just isn't really suitable for it. So, anyways, that being said, I'm still going to go ahead and plug this machine in, turn it on to see how it sounds and how powerful it really is. So, just give me one sec here. Alright, so, just to um, show the bare floor tool up close. This is what it looks like. Nothing special because it's definitely cheaply made. That's okay because that was on the price point that I was looking for this. And of course the wands, they feel pretty cheap. Nothing special. But I feel like this is one of the improvements they've made on the hoses from the older Mighty Mites. I mean, they've been making this They've been making these mining mites now for over 20 years, and I feel like that this is one of the few improvements they've made through the hoses, make them more sturdable. Uh, they say that um, that they've cheapened everything else in machines. Well, I can definitely see how they've cheapened some components of the machines, like the switch and the motor. But as far as quality-wise go, they feel the same to me so anyways yeah just overall i'm so far disappointed i couldn't get the hepa filter to fit i'm assuming that's just only fit on certain models like the um sanitary where you get the um model with hepa filtration because it's probably made for so that the hepa filter can be fit on here i was thinking the hepa filter would fit on all of these mighty mites but or it could be is perhaps i'm missing something but i'm i'm really down in that so again i'm gonna see if i can try to make this work with this but if not um i'm going to at least send the filter back but overall i'm gonna to try to keep this machine because overall out of all the choices that i've looked into with this um auric Metro vac, shop vac, um, Bissell, and of course I even did looked into a um, wall vac, central vac for the trailer. This one I feel like had more advantages than disadvantages over the others that I've looked into. So that's the reason why I overall chose this out of all the other models I've looked into. Anyways, just go ahead and get this set up here. I can 
before you get to nope. Did that on one hand here. Put this together here. Plug it in and see how it turns on. Turn it on right here. Very powerful indeed, and the sound of it reminds me of my Panasonic MCCG381 that I have. So, I'm going to first try this with the filter on here to see how bad it's going to be. Or I'm actually going to do this off camera here. Experiencing technical difficulties with my camera here. Actually, 